So Carolina Biological has developed a new program for high school biology and high school chemistry that provides a solution uh, for schools looking to include hands-on biology and chemistry investigations this coming year, no matter what kind of scheduling circumstances you might be up against. As you know, the options are vast and varied for this coming school year, but it is fairly certain that students will have at least some remote learning time. And we'd like to talk a little bit about how to transition seamlessly from a socially distanced classroom to remote instruction and then possibly back again in high school biology and chemistry. So after some difficult scheduling concerns due to the COVID-19 closings, Carolina set out to help school districts and science teachers be more prepared for whatever the future may bring. One of the primary concerns of teachers was that students were missing out on the hands-on investigations, the, the engagement, and the collaborative experiences that are such a critical part of biology and chemistry. So teachers may have relied really heavily on open source videos and other online resources, but those kinds of resources can be difficult to find and they're not always of the best quality. So teachers got through it, but we don't wanna do it that way again. So there is some good news. There might be funding available to you to prepare for remote instruction. So in many cases, federal funding is now available to purchase remote learning solutions. This is a really huge opportunity to help your districts deliver a successful learning experience despite possible class disruptions or social distancing guidelines. So let's talk a little bit about how to plan for the unknown. Uh, we'd like to introduce you to a program called Carolina Kits 3D Flex. So Carolina Kits 3D Flex is built on the foundation of Carolina's existing successful classroom solution, which itself was based on the framework for three-dimensional learning. Uh, Carolina Kits 3D was developed by teachers and instructional design experts, but to meet the needs of uncertain scheduling, that classroom model had to be adapted so that no matter whether students are socially distancing in the classroom or working in their kitchens, they can perform experiments and discuss observation with their peers. Carolina Kits 3D Flex gives every student their own kit of materials that travels with them so that they can do the same hands-on labs wherever they are. That kit of materials is paired with a really robust suite of digital resources that deliver the instructional materials and ensures that high school students can still have really valuable lab experiences in their biology and their chemistry courses. So what comes with a 3D Flex kit? The short answer is everything. This is an example of a 3D Flex chemistry kit. It contains all the equipment a student would need for the year, everything from safety goggles to flasks to balloons. There's no sharing of equipment. There's no scrambling if school closes, it's all there. Plus, every kit comes with a full suite of digital resources, which include student guides, videos, pre-lab and post-lab activities, quizzes, and more. Carolina Kits 3D Flex is comprised of three types of investigations, and those are student hands-on investigations, digital teacher demonstrations, and digital student investigations. And Missy is gonna tell you a little bit about each type of investigation in the program. Thanks, Jen. So you guys just had a chance to see what that student chemistry kit looked like. And now we're gonna show you some of the images of what some of the student hands-on investigations look like from that chemistry program. So these are students using the 3D Flex chemistry kit to perform safe and hands-on experiments at home. The activities take minimal chemicals, which are provided in the kits, but it really offers an authentic lab experience and those really important skill building opportunities that we feel like we need for chemistry and of course for biology as well. You'll notice on the images, that it's a really nice blend of wet labs and manipulative labs in this program. And, you know, obviously because this is chemistry, 
you know, there's going to be some investigations that we'd all agree cannot be performed safely at home. So that's where the digital teacher demonstrations come in, and we're going to show you some examples of those. So for this particular example, this is from one of our flame test labs, and this comes with six close up videos demoing basically um, a variety of different flame tests. <clears throat> In cases where teachers don't have access to their equipment, or maybe they don't have time to do the demo, or they don't know how or have time to produce high quality videos, this is a really good solution. So the digital demonstrations allow students to perform those direct observations of phenomena, which is an important part of the three-dimensional learning anyway, and use their prior knowledge to make sense of it. So often multiple videos are provided so that students can kind of see how different scenarios play out. In this case, the teacher would send out unknown flame tests later to be used for assessment. You'll notice too that there's no voiceovers provided. So this really allows the teacher to provide their own commentary and their own words, just as if they were in the classroom with their students. So now that you've seen the teacher demo, now let's take a look at the student digital investigation. And this one in particular is from our biology program. So in the middle of your screen, you'll see a little tiny termite there following the ink line. And if you missed it on this video, don't worry, we'll show you a couple more. So for this remote learning activity, the students are provided videos of termites finding a food source from the group behavior and social insects lab. They're able to make observations, they perform authentic data collection, and then they're able to answer questions at home or in school socially distanced without having to have those lab insects or having to set up those labs specifically. So just to be clear, this isn't one video that they watch. They actually receive 12 different two to five minute videos so that they conduct the authentic data collection and process all of the information using evidence and prior knowledge to make sense of it. And so for these videos, you would have noticed that there were different ink lines on there and that's sort of what they were using for their data collection. So now let me turn it back over to Jen so that she can show you some of the support digital resources that we offer. Thanks, Missy. So you've seen examples of the three types of investigations in the 3D Flex program. Let's take a quick look at some of the types of digital teaching and learning support resources that are included. So for the teacher, all the lessons, no matter whether they're hands on if they're digital teacher demos or if they're digital student investigations, they all start with lesson overviews and detailed lab guidance. They include science background that the teacher can use for themselves or they can choose to share that with their students and even include sample student data. So this is an example of a teacher lesson plan included with 3D Flex. Uh, teacher kits provide step-by-step -step lesson overviews and all the student and digital resources needed to flexibly transition from the classroom to remote learning as needed. Uh, if you're watching this presentation on a device that's large enough to view the page, you'll see that there are specific teacher suggestions to optimize a remote learning scenario. So those include using online meeting tools to share the digital resources and to use those online meeting tools to allow students to collaboratively gather, discuss, and interpret data collection. For students, 3D Flex offers materials that help them build toward understanding and content mastery. On the left, you can see a student pre-lab activity with relevant lab questions. Uh, this is from the Social Insects and Group Behavior Lab that we saw a little bit earlier. And in this pre-lab activity, students watch a video of the bee waggle dance, and then they answer questions about that phenomenon. These types of uh, resources can be uh, are provided as black line masters that teachers can uh, print and give to students if they're in the classroom, or they can assign digitally out to students to complete the fillable PDFs if they are remote. Here is an example of a post lab activity with supplemental content, videos, and questions to assess student understanding. All of these resources can be assigned to your students and they work through them at their own pace. You'll also notice that there are a variety of assessments after each resource to make sure the student is grasping the key concepts. And then at the very end of the lesson, 
is a summary of scores and completion percentages, which is then sent back to the teacher. They can the teachers can use those to record grades in their gradebook or to simply monitor student progress. Um, so now Missy is going to talk a little bit more in detail about the 3D Flex biology program. Thanks. So now that we've showed you a little bit about how this program works and how the labs are blended and a little bit about the resources that you receive, we're going to talk to you specifically about the programs themselves. And I'm going to start with the biology program. So this program includes 16 labs and we specifically picked labs that will fulfill all those key concept requirements, but also labs that can be safely and successfully performed at home. And as we mentioned, the program's a blend of hands-on investigations, those digital teacher demonstrations, and then the digital student investigations. So let's let you take a quick look at all of the different types of labs that you might find in this program. So starting with molecules to organisms. So there's a lot of labs here that you would probably recognize if you're a biology teacher. Um, we've included everything from traditional dialysis tubing labs that model kidney function, and, but we've also tried to include new topics such as biofuels. For the next bundle, it's ecosystems. And these are typical topics like carrying capacity, and you'll see the building ecological pyramids kit. So that deals with food webs and food chains. You uh, will see that third one is the group behavior and social insects lab. And that's the one that we've showed you some of the student um, materials, but also some of the teacher resources that were provided. And then we've tried to address some of the current events and some global issues such as oil spill remediation in this bundle as well. The next one is heredity. And if you're familiar with Carolina, um, you may recognize Wisconsin fast plants, and we've included this in for one of the monohybrid genetics kits. Um, but then we've also included um, a variety of kits that have manipulatives, such as the chromosome simulation and then modeling DNA to protein. And then last but not least, uh, biological evolution. Of course, we picked three engaging and sort of modern labs to help teach the genetics and evolution for these labs. So once you put all of these different labs together, this is what creates that full year 3D Flex biology program in its entirety. So you'll see that all of the major biology concepts are covered. This comes all in one program. So the kit that you saw earlier for chemistry, you would have one similarly for biology. What's really nice is that there are blended labs. So you'll see a key at the bottom of the slide that says hands-on teacher or student digital and you'll notice that on some of these they might have multiple little um, abbreviations there and that just means that in that case it may be something where there's a hands-on portion but there's also a digital portion and that just helps sort of um, convey additional information for the students so the type of labs that are shown here in this program for the biology we have 11 that have hands-on portion we have three that include teacher digital demonstrations, and we have eight that have digital student investigations. And that way you have a really well-rounded blended program that has hands-on components and digital components as well. So now let me give this back to Jen and she's gonna talk about the chemistry program. <clears throat> Thanks, Missy. I'm excited to talk to you guys about chemistry. So the chemistry program is structured similarly to the biology program. Chemistry has 17 investigations that cover key concepts in a high school chemistry class. Again, those are going to be blended between student hands on digital teacher demos and digital student investigations. So let's look at uh, the strands in chemistry and talk a little bit about the individual investigations. So the first one we'll talk about is a structure and properties of matter bundle. So this is a this is a bundle that's really strong on the foundations uh, taught in a chemistry class. So chemical bonding, the periodic table and periodicity. And you'll see there in the middle that salt to a flame test. That's that flame test investigation that we saw a little earlier in the presentation. That was an example of a teacher digital demonstration. 
The next bundle is uh, chemical and nuclear reactions, and this is a really robust uh, bundle uh, that not only uh, covers chemical reactions, but of course teaches kids about balancing chemical reactions. We learn about stoichiometry, and this bundle even includes a kit topic that a lot of times is not uh, covered in high school chemistry because of lack of time, which is radioactive decay and nuclear chemistry. The reaction rates and equilibrium bundle, uh, my chemistry teachers out there will probably recognize the classic iodine clock reaction and that chemical equilibrium and Le Chatelier's principal investigation is a really nice blended lab of a hands-on student investigation plus a digital student investigation. And then finally, the energy and chemical processes bundle includes a, a thermochemistry kit that is both qualitative and quantitative. And that gas laws investigation is a really nice multi-part, really comprehensive lab that covers the gas laws. So this is the entire chemistry program laid out similarly uh, to the biology program. Again, there are 17 investigations in the chemistry program. And just like in biology, Carolina Kit's 3D Flex Chemistry uh, program encompasses all 17 of these labs. So the student materials kit that you saw earlier would have all the materials for all the hands-on portions of these labs. And then the digital resources would include all the digital for all of these labs. And again, you'll see from the key at the bottom that some of the investigations are a blend of perhaps a hands-on student plus a digital student investigation or a teacher digital plus a digital student investigation. So now that you've seen some detail about both the biology and the chemistry 3D Flex programs, Macy's gonna give us a little bit more information to help sum up the program. Thanks, Jen. So just in summary, so the Carolina Kids 3D Flex program, this is an all-inclusive, flexible, year-long program. So these are the two that we've talked about throughout this presentation. The most important part of this program is that every student has the exact same supplies to complete the hands-on labs. So regardless of whether they are in your school, socially distanced, wherever that may be, or they're on a split schedule, um, or if they wind up at home, they're going to have the ability to do the exact same labs regardless of where they are. And then another portion that we mentioned earlier in the presentation um, is that this may qualify for federal funding to help you with some of the cancellations that may be caused by the COVID-19 um, uncertainty. For another program, we realize there's a lot of uncertainty with scheduling for the school year, and we just want to make sure that even if you don't get as much help with funding as you would like, that you're still able to provide a consistent quality learning experience for your students. And so we have another option that's called Carolina Kits 3D Flex Lite. This is a little different from our other program in that there are no materials provided. This is a digital resource um, program only. So it does provide resources for in-class and remote options, and there is a less upfront cost, but schools would still be required to purchase materials for the labs, whether that would be classroom kits that already exist or buying individual line lists of materials that they could sort of consolidate or distribute to their students on the back end. So if you'd like to learn more about program details or how you might implement Carolina Kits 3D Flex program, we would love to hear from you. There's a variety of options here that you could reach out to us. We've developed the solution for biology and chemistry, and we have other resources um, like series of white papers for best practices for remote learning but Carolina also has some other virtual learning products that may assist you in your classroom also. And we would also like to help with any issues that you may have with funding requests or proposals that you need to submit. So you could reach out to us for that. But we would like to thank you for your time today. And we really hope that these programs provide a solution for you and your school. And we actually really look forward to seeing you soon at a future conference.